Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Sara Khan. I am a recently accepted medical student and I applied in this past cycle. I am in my gap year right now doing research. I applied to medical school with hopes of getting into a rural medicine program or an underserved program. So that will be a lot of what I'm going to discuss today because I'm going to tell you about six medical schools that I applied to, 3MD and 3DO, and why I applied to them. So the first three schools I'm going to talk about are Tufts, University of Toledo, and New York University. And the last three are New York Institute of Technology, University of New England, and Burrell. Beginning with Tufts. Um, the first thing that really stood out to me was they had particular tracks that I was really interested in. A lot of schools will have tracks in fields of study or in certain regions of the country that need physicians. When you practice in a certain area, sometimes the skills you'll need in that area will be different from another area of the country. So it's cool to have track programs because you'll train in a place that hopefully you'll work in and you'll have additional skills that other regions might not have. So that was the first thing I liked about Tufts was the track. Um, the second thing I liked about Tufts was the curriculum. I think the flipped classroom concept was really great and I like that they had longitudinal integrated clerkship. I think continuity of care and following your patients through different specialties is really cool and really a unique way of training. So I really liked that that was a part of their school. Finally, I think their students were pretty well prepared for um, exams and for um, step one and two, the boards. And also I felt like they were really prepared for residency. The reason I know this is just because I reached out to students on LinkedIn and I asked them how they felt in residency and how Tufts prepared them and they were really honest with me and majority of them were positive. Basically all of them were very positive actually. Um, so that was great and a great thing to hear. So the next school is University of Toledo. The health disparities in the county where University of Toledo was located were things that I had worked on through my advocacy in trying to solve these health disparities. I did a lot of legislative advocacy work in my undergrad and so a lot of the health disparities of the county were things I was already passionate about solving and the school seemed to follow um, the same mission so I, I saw a connection there. I also liked that they had specific programs for the underserved, one of which is the Health Education Across Latitudes and Longitudes program, that one really stood out to me. And then finally, I liked how much exposure students got to the clinical setting in first and second year. That's a really big part of third and fourth year, usually at most schools, but this school had a lot of um, exposure for first and second year students, which I thought was cool. There's a bird outside on the window. I don't know if you can hear it, but just don't mind that. Finally, New York University. Um, so I went to NYU for my undergrad and um, I had been a part of a research study that was going on within the Pediatrics and Environmental Studies Department at NYU Langone. So I, my PI was actually a professor and physician for NYU. So what I thought was cool is that if I went to NYU, I could potentially continue that research. And that was a really big plus for me because I loved the research I was a part of. As I mentioned, I did a lot of advocacy work and they had great opportunities for students to continue, you know, advocating through legislation, one of which was the NYU Physicians of National Health. Um, that was a great program that really stood out to me. Finally, I liked the way that the school structured their curriculum and I also liked the amount of outreach that the school really made their students take part in. I think New York City is just a wealth of knowledge for people who are in medicine because there are so many people, so many different life backgrounds and you know struggles that people go through and it's a wonderful place to learn and grow your perspective. Um, so of course I definitely thought that um, NYU would be a great place to learn. So now on to osteopathic medical schools. The first one I'm going to talk about is New York Institute of Technology. I really liked that they were focusing on solving health disparities that I had worked on in my advocacy. Again, I had done advocacy work in New York 
because I was I went to NYU and I was in this area but I also did it in other states and so a lot of the schools I applied to were in states where I did legislative work because I'd love to continue that and advocate for vulnerable populations of people through that advocacy. The school was also very into research. I love research. It's something I really want to continue doing even after medical school and throughout medical school. So I love that they were very research positive, in, especially in specialties that I was interested in. And finally, their curriculum, the lectures weren't um, mandatory. They were all recorded. They gave you a lot of time to study on your own. And that was really great. It was a little scary because their exams were worth a lot. I messaged a lot of people on LinkedIn trying to really understand the layout of the curriculum and exams were worth a lot in terms of passing and in terms of your grade in general. That can be kind of scary um, when there are not a lot of elements that um, fall into your grade and so I wanted to look at the attrition rate to make sure that there weren't a lot of kids you know dropping out because they weren't grasping the material and they were just failing out and it wasn't too bad so I decided to apply and I thought it was a great school. Now on to University of New England. Um, this was an area, Maine was an area that I had done legislative work in a, really thoroughly. So again, I could continue that if I went to UNE, which I thought was a great plus. The curriculum was extremely unique. Um, they integrate and intertwine all of the classes you need to take throughout medical school, like histology, pathology, biochemistry, etc. And they put it into two classes which is like so insane, you know, everything is integrated and intertwined with each other. So that was really cool. And then they had longitudinal integrated clerkship. I mentioned that at the beginning. I love that concept. I think it's really cool. Um, and so those are three things I really liked about the school. Finally, Burrell. Um, again, their, the mission of the school was focusing on trying to like solve those health disparities in their county and, and you know, the whole state of New Mexico. Um, a program I really liked in terms of outreach at their school was the TOUCH program. I think that's really cool. I'm passionate about getting into the community wherever I go to medical school. And then finally, what was really unique was their work with immigrants. I thought that was really cool, um, really unique to the area. And something that I have done a lot of advocacy work in is, you know, trying to help immigrants gain access to health care and um, help them integrate into the community and make sure that, you know, they're not disproportionately affected by health crises. Finally, I want to talk about how Burrell is actually for-profit. I think you should look that up for yourself if you want to apply or not. I didn't know they were for-profit until I had applied and I read an article that kind of came up um, that told me about for-profit schools. I didn't know what the difference was, but definitely, um, you know, read about it. I think that's important. So I hope this video helped you. If there are other programs you want me to talk about, I can see if I've applied to them. And if I have, I can tell you why I did. I pretty strategically chose my school list. Um, if you ch wanna check my TikTok, I have posted all the schools I applied to on there. So if you want to select a couple that you want me to do a part two of this video, I can do that. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'm here to help. So please put any comments or questions um, down below. Thank you. Bye.